We've all heard that physical activity is good for us and we should probably be doing more of it. So it might be surprising to hear that there's lots that we still don't know about the links between how we move throughout the day and our risk of disease. How we move throughout the day includes not just the time we spend in more moderate or vigorous forms of physical activity, but also the time we spend in lighter forms of physical activity, the time we spend sedentary and the time we spend asleep. One of the reasons that we don't know as much as we'd like to know about the links between uh, these movement behaviours and our health is because traditionally we've measured these movement behaviours by asking people about them. But as you can imagine, it's very difficult to accurately answer questions about the time I sp uh, spend, say, sitting down or the time I spend doing chores. Fortunately, in UK Biobank, just over 100,000 participants have taken part in an activity monitor wear study. They were posted one of these activity monitors uh, to wear on the wrist for seven days. And you can see the rich and granular signal that we get from one of these monitors on the bottom left there. The first challenge is to turn this rich and granular signal about the participants' movement into useful and usable information uh, about the time they spend in different behaviours. And we've developed a machine learning model to do just that. Now you see what it looks like when we apply our model to some activity monitor data on the right here. Uh, you can see it's mostly classified this person as uh, sleeping overnight, that's in blue, uh, and mostly sedentary during the day, that's in red. Um, but it's also classified these little pockets of uh, light physical activity in orange uh, and moderate to vigorous physical activity in green. Once we've measured the time participants spend in different movement behaviours, uh, we were interested in associating this with the risk that they went on to have a cardiovascular disease event, so for example, a heart attack or a stroke, over the subsequent six or so years. Um, and during this time, among the uh, just over 87,000 participants included in this analysis, there were just over 4,000 um, cardiovascular disease events. One of the things about movement behaviours is you can't just spend more time in one behaviour. If I spend more time doing moderate to vigorous physical activity, I have to spend less time doing some uh, or all of the other behaviours. And we were very interested in accounting for this in our analysis and in looking at reallocating time between different behaviours. And that's what the graphs on this, this slide are showing. They're looking at reallocating time between different pairs of behaviours. I don't have time to talk through the whole slide, so to summarise what we found, uh, we found that reallocating time from other behaviours into moderate to vigorous physical activity was associated quite steeply with a, a lower risk uh, of incident cardiovascular disease. And we also found that reallocating time from sedentary behaviour to other behaviours was associated with a lower risk uh, of cardiovascular disease. So I've no time left, so here are some links to some more information. Uh, and finally, uh, a big thank you uh, to everyone involved in this project and most of all to UK Biobank participants. Thank you.